Hey, Auntie. Hey, y'all. If you'd like to see how I get my hair from this no. dirty, dry, and itchy mess. So, on my wash days, I always love to pre-poo and hot oil treat my hair. That way, no moisture is taken out of my hair from any shampoo, whether it's sulfate free or not. So, I make a blend of these oils as well as peppermint as the essential oil. On dry, dirty hair, I just spritz my hair with water. That way, with warm water, by the way, that way my hair's cuticles start to open and then I apply the oil onto my scalp, making sure to massage. Don't forget your edges, girl. Your edges are going to need that oil and give myself a nice massage. That way blood starts circulating. I then use this reconstructing elixir from Palmer's. This is kind of like a protein, so you can use a protein treatment, but just on the ends of my hair to keep it strong and healthy. I will then put on a shower cap as well as my conditioning cap because I don't like to heat up the oils. They burn my scalp sometimes. So this is the best way for me to get a hot oil treatment without burning myself. <laughs> After rinsing out the oils, I'm going to shampoo my hair with this shampoo from Afro Sunday. They are a locally manufacturing brand and this is like a natural shampoo. I'm only going to focus this shampoo on my scalp because I don't want to strip any moisture from my hair and I'm going to be using this brush that I got from Diskin. The next step is to deep condition and I'm going to be combining both conditioners from Afro Sunday as well as Dark and Lovely because I love this stuff. It smells so so good and it's very very moisturizing on my hair. I'm going to concentrate that on each section and unravel each one so I can put extra 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 goodness on each strand. I'm also going to be using my white tooth comb for each section to really take out any shed hair. For added growth and to reduce shedding, I'm going to use my black water rice rinse. Yes, people, I found some black rice. So this is what I'm going to use on my scalp only. And then I'm going to cover everything up with my conditioning cap as well as shower cap for a good hour because it's a bit chilly. And this is what my hair looks like. Such a huge difference. It's bouncy. It's, it's shining. It's healthy and moisturized and this is what I'll be working with before I style my hair. So I'd love to know how many steps you have in your wash day. Comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. It will really help me to reach out to other people and do watch my other videos. I'm just going to paste them here, make it easy for you and I will see you in my next video. Ciao.